I don't have a Wii U. I want one, but I don't have one yet. And according to Nintendo's newest sales figures, you probably don't have one either. <laughs> Nintendo expected to sell 9 million Wii U units in 2013. Maybe they weren't expecting the Xbox One or PS4 to come out. Regardless, they thought wrong because they just released a statement saying they only sold 2.8 million units. As a whole, they're expecting a $240 million loss. Now that was a lot of numbers, so let me break it down for you. Console manufacturers sell their consoles at a loss in the hopes of making money off their games. For example, CNN estimated that the parts of the Wii U cost Nintendo $228 per console. That sounds like a $72 profit, right? But that's just the cost of the parts. So that's not including the advertising costs, the development costs, the manufacturing costs, you know, all the expensive stuff. They're hoping that you'll buy a couple of games with your console and continue to buy games with your console, earning them a long-time customer. So they missed their mark by over 6 million units. Now you should be able to understand the gravity of that miscalculation. Nobody's buying their consoles. And in turn, nobody is buying their games. And now, worst of all, they have all these consoles they manufactured in anticipation. Sad face. Nintendo CEO Satoru Iwata is not stepping down, and I don't know why people think he should. It's not his fault. Iwata said, quote, We are naturally studying how smart devices can be used to grow game player business. He's, uh, he's Japanese. He also said, It's not as simple as enabling Mario to move on a smartphone. One of Nintendo's largest competitors in the mobile game market is Apple. Most kids these days just play games on their iPods or iPod Touches. Naturally, Nintendo's been getting a lot of pressure to move all of their blockbuster properties over to iOS. I personally do not think this would be a good strategy. These blockbusters are what make me want to get a Wii U. The hardware is good, it just came at a terrible time, like four years too late. Or six. I do, however, believe they should develop new intellectual properties for iDevices. And Android. Please do not rule out Android. Their games are phenomenal, probably the best first party games out of any of the console companies. The capability to make great games is there, there's no question about that. I do not foresee Mario ending up on the Xbox One in the near future. This isn't gonna be a Sega deal. Right? This isn't, you're not gonna end up like Sega, please, please don't end up like Sega. There is a light at the end of the tunnel, however. The 3DS was the best selling console of 2013. <laughs> however, the system and its games are still cheaper than the Wii U and other home console paraphernalia, so it didn't contribute enough to the company. But don't worry, Nintendo isn't stupid. They know the 3DS is their money tree. It's why we're going to see Super Smash Bros. on the Wii U and the 3DS. Focusing their attention on their handheld market would not be a terrible strategy. What do you think? How dead is Nintendo right now? Leave a comment down below or at me on Twitter, at Bob Wolf. Like if you like, subscribe if you really like. Thank you very much. Have. Oh, I want to get this spin. Yay! The other day, I had to explain to a little kid that he couldn't play Far Cry 3 because it had a sex scene in it. His response was, What's a sex scene? With Star Wars, you got Kyle Katarn. You got, um,. Yo, the more Kyle Katarin. Put him in the new movies, man. Yeah. If there's if, if there's somebody in the Star Wars universe, if there's somebody who's right up there with 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 uh and with the post Soul Return of the Jedi, the Soul Skywalker. Kids. It's Kyle Katarin. Yeah, Kyle Katarin. He is the man because. Yeah.